Hello everybody, this is Alan with HeadphoneReviewHQ.com and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Voxua HD wireless Bluetooth on-ear headphones. And quickly I just want to go through the, uh, the packaging of this. As you can see, it's nothing super flashy, but it does have all the essentials. So it shows you the specs on the back and also what's in the actual box so you know what you're looking for. And it's really easy to open. All you have to do is cut this little sticker and then the thing flips right open, which I greatly appreciate because I hate going through unboxings of, of frustrating things to open. And so they've actually got this thing on display pretty well as soon as you open it up. So there's your headphones in there. And over there on the right, that's the box that has all the uh, cables and whatnot. And here, you'll see that the headphones pretty much just pop right out. It's pretty easy. So uh, just taking a quick look at this thing, you got your ear pads. Those look real nice. They've, they're perforated right there where the speaker is so that you get good, clean sound. You have all your, your uh, mandatory warnings and whatnot, your NFC. Over there, that dot indicates your left headphone section. Got Voxel on that side. And these are completely made of plastic, so, uh, you know, whatever. But they fold down nicely, which is good. They're decent for saving space and for throwing in the bag. And, you know, overall, I got to say that it's a, it's a pretty nice-looking set of headphones. So, again, just showing you that your left right there, it shows inside. You got the dot out on the edge there, so you can find it in the dark or in, in some place it's not well lit. So now let's take a look at what's in the box itself. And first, what, what I'm pulling out here, you can see all the contents come out real nice and easy. So you don't really lose anything in the, in the shuffle. Now these are the instructions, the quick start guide. I highly recommend that uh, if you get these, you actually look at them. There's a ton of functionality with these. It also comes with a micro USB charging cable. So that plugs into the headphones itself. And then the other side is your standard USB that you'll plug into your computer, your laptop, wall charger, whatever. So that's that. Then you also have the standard uh, 3.5 millimeter cable so that you can plug these directly into a computer or an iPod, whatever. Works fine. And then you've also got the bag that comes with it, which I highly recommend using. It'll keep these things in good shape. Uh, they fit in there well when you fold them up, and then they cinch tight. So, nice little touch. Uh, I like seeing that these things are coming with these nowadays. And then you've also got your warranty card. So, you can basically go on and uh, get this thing set up. And I believe it comes with a year warranty. So, pretty decent. And that's what you got in the box there. All right, so now that we have the unboxing out of the way, let's actually take a look at the features. So here on the bottom, that little pinhole, that's your microphone. That's your fast forward button, your play pause, and your rewind. And the play pause also acts as an additional functionality. So here you'll see that there's pads along the outside, but the middle is very flimsy. That's because that's just where the speaker is, and all the cushion is on the on the outside of the uh, the speakers. So now what you'll see is these things are actually on a swivel, so... If you, depending on what size or shape your head is, these things will fit well because they just kind of fall into place whenever you put them on. So that's a nice little touch. I don't think I'd be too rough with them because I'm pretty sure it'd break. As you can see, the headband has a decent amount of uh, travel on it. So even if you have a, a large head, these should work just fine for you. They expand out quite a bit. And again, I'm showing you the left notch there and it goes on the left side. And then... Getting back around to this here, you can see this big button here on the side. That's where you're going to do various different things like answer phone calls and whatnot. On the bottom, there's your 3.5 millimeter cable jack for plugging into an iPhone or something. And over here on the left, you have the micro USB for charging and also to use as a DAC, interestingly enough. Holding down this button turns it on. You hold it down for about four to five seconds and you can see it turns on. And then doing the same thing again will actually power the unit off. So hold it down for about three or four seconds and then you'll see it turn red and now it's off. And this thing does have a 16 hour play time when it's fully charged. Now you see NFC on the side. Yeah, this has near field communications and I'm going to demo that in just a little bit. And it's pretty sweet. I mean, you're not going to use it that much, but when you do, it makes it extremely easy to do this stuff. 
And again, you can see it folds down pretty nicely, fits in the, in the carrying case very well. And, uh, that also brings me over here to the, to the right. You can see the, uh, two other buttons right there. That's your volume up and down. So those are more intuitively placed for me than the, uh, play, uh, the play controls, because to me, yeah, you can see the play controls, the up and down there. It seems like up would be fast forward and down would be rewind, but it's actually inverse because it's more like if you're looking at it from the side, but there you can see, oh, and I also want to talk about the headbands, extremely comfortable. Now these are made completely out of plastic. So I don't know how much abuse they would take over time, but they don't creak or crack or anything like that. But you can see they seem to bend pretty well. Um, but I don't know how much I would actually try and push these. Let's talk about the actual comfort of the Voxuas. These rank right up there as far as comfort with the Bose QC15s, which is singing some very high praises. And as I'm showing you here now, when you've got this set down to fit, the only thing that touches your head is the top pad and then the side ear pads. And then if you extend it out, I was showing that my whole hand fit in between the pad and my head. So a lot of extension. Overall, even with the plastic build quality, I think it's pretty good. So, and just to note, the button where you turn the thing on is on the right side. That's also where the cable comes out. That's kind of counterintuitive compared to other headphones out there, but it works very well. Um, now, this is one thing I did want to point out. They fall off your head fairly easily, which is something to be aware of. If you have a lot of hair, unlike me, then these might be a little bit tough for you because they don't stay on very well. Here, what I'm showing is actually using the near field communication to pair this with your phone. And that's what it's for. It's essentially made so that you can do this. And this is my wife's phone, obviously, I, you know, but uh, it, it makes sure you have the thing turned on. I think when I first started to do this that I had forgotten to turn the device on. But basically now all you do, you got the NFC turned on on your phone, go to the Bluetooth screen, and all you have to do is tap this thing to it. And you're going to see down here at the bottom of the S3, it's going to pop up and say that it's trying to connect to the Voxua. So there you go. It's pairing with the Voxua 33X, which is what it's called in the uh, device settings here. So beautiful. You didn't have to do anything. It's just you tapped it and it paired it. Done. So just to show you a little piece of functionality here, this is where the play button comes in. If you hold that down for a few beats and then you speak into the microphone here, I'm telling to call me for my wife's phone. And you'll see here in just a second, it's saying that it's going to be calling Alan Underwood. So beautiful. I mean, you can control a ton of features. And I wanted to show it on my Windows phone too, because, you know, Windows phones don't seem to be quite as tightly integrated as several other devices out there, like Android specifically and iOS. But I found that the NFC worked beautifully on this as well. So it's tap and send on this. I've got it turned on. And now... I'm going to do the pairing by doing the same exact thing. Tap it on there. It says, do you want to do this? I'm going to click the pair button. And then we'll see here in just a second when I go into the Bluetooth settings that the Voxel will be one of the ones that's paired now. So, I mean, extremely easy to use. It's really nice that you can do these things. Now I'm also demoing holding down the play button here and I'm going to say, call my, my wife and same type thing, speaking into the headphone, it's actually doing that. And so it's beautiful. I mean, the, the amount of functionality you have with these headphones is, is just really sweet. And it's, it's laid out fairly intuitively. And so one of the things I'm doing here is I just want to show demoing the play, the pause and all that. So you can see I got Mac break weekly up and right now it's playing. You can see 2141. Then I hit the pause button. So it stopped. Beautiful. Now I'm playing again. Here, I'm going to rewind. You just hold down the rewind button and then you hit the play button to replay on Windows. And then inversely for the fast forward, again, fast forward is kind of the bottom button, but you know, whatever, after you get used to it, not a big deal. But it's beautiful. You have all that functionality straight from your headphones and it's actually laid out in a way that's pretty easy to remember and get used to. So overall, I gotta say the Bluetooth functionality of these things is really sweet. Now, here's a little bonus that they didn't even say anything about in the manual, and I accidentally found out. So I plugged this thing up to the computer via USB, obviously, 
and it starts installing device drivers, usually for these type of things, it just starts charging. Well, I was like, okay, interesting. Let me go into the playback devices. So I go in here and up here at the top, I see this set of speakers now, this CSR 8645. And I'm like, okay, interesting. Let me see what's going on. Well, it's exactly what I thought it was. When you plug this into USB via your computer and you set these as the playback, it's using these as an external DAC plus amp for your headphones. So the music is going straight from your computer into the headphones and they're actually playing back the music. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's just a little hidden nugget in there that, uh, that I found very cool. All right, so the part that everybody's really interested in, that's how do these sound? So first, I tested these both plugged in via the 3.5 millimeter and through the Bluetooth connectivity, the wireless, and honestly, it sounds pretty much identical both ways. So this will apply to everything I'm saying here. First, these are bass heavy headphones and it's a boosted bass, but it's one that probably most people would appreciate, uh, especially anybody listening to pop culture type or uh, pop genre type stuff, uh, your hip hop, your rap, dubstep, anything. With that in mind, everything else did sound good with these and I'll get into why in just a second, but, but they are they are boosted in the bass. And here's one thing that blew my mind. These things have tremendous amounts of bass. As a matter of fact, this is kind of what I expected when I, when I cranked the bass up on some songs, I expected this from the beat solo when I tried those out and these sounded way better across the board, but they had the same amount of bass, which was fantastic. I did not expect that out of these. So with that in mind, the bass is very good. It's probably a little bit loose. I mean, it's not going to be as tight as some higher end headphones, but it sounds good. The mid range and the treble both sound fantastic. So they're, they're very natural sounding, but they're the mo they're not the most articulate or detailed of any mid range and treble I've heard, but I never found that I was bothered by the lack of detail. So these are not a very analytical set of headphones. They're just a nice sounding set of headphones. So when I was a being with uh, like the M50s and some other headphones, you could definitely tell that there was some detail missing. But when you just put these things on and listen, listen to them, they're a fun sounding set of headphones that have a very natural sound to them, albeit with the boosted bass, but they sound wonderful. So that paired with the fact that you can actually use these things wirelessly and literally just the sheer amount of functionality that they had to go along with the great sound made these a set of headphones that I never, I, I, I constantly found myself reaching for these just because they were so easy and convenient. And another note about the sound quality, that little microphone that you're seeing go by there does a wonderful job. Nobody that I spoke to on the phone had any idea that I was that I was speaking through anything except for the phone. And the voice did come across crystal clear from the other end. So beautiful functionality there. All right. So a couple other things I need to touch on. One is the noise leakage and isolation. First off, these don't isolate at all. I mean, you're going to hear any conversations or anything going on around you pretty well if you just have these on your head. On the noise leakage, these actually do a fairly decent job of keeping the sound in your ears and not spreading out over the area around you. So I was pretty impressed with that overall. And then the next thing that I like to talk about is the volume. These things do a wonderful job driving themselves. And so here's a couple things to know. If you plug this in via the 3.5 millimeter connection, then you're not actually using the battery power of the headphones. So you can save that 16 hours worth of charge for when you're actually using the Bluetooth connectivity. As far as the volume's concerned, you don't need an amplifier or any kind of external amp to drive these. They do a wonderful job pairing with any phone or, or portable media player that you hook them up to and did well with my computers as well. So you don't have to worry about going and getting any external amplification to push these to where they need to be. So let's get to the wrap up on these. I think you can tell from the rest of my review that I really enjoy the Voxos. As a matter of fact, these are one of my very favorite headphones right now in this price range. They are definitely not audiophile grade headphones, but there are a lot of people out there who are looking for headphones that sound great, especially for their streams. So if you're listening to Spotify or Mog or Pandora 
or any of that kind of stuff and you don't have flax or, or you're not looking for you know the utmost detail and the analytical type sound that something like the m50s or you know some other upper end headphones go for these are a very fun sounding set of headphones and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to them the entire time I did this review. And I think the telling thing more than anything else is the fact that I found myself reaching for these a lot simply before the convenience. Like it was wonderful to have these things sitting at my desk and just pick them up and put them on and not have to worry about tangling cables or making sure I didn't have my arm wrapped around something so that if I turn my head, it was going to jerk them out of, you know, whatever connection. So and I found myself walking in my car with these. And as a matter of fact, uh, one day I was walking out and one guy was like, wow, those are some great looking headphones. And I was like, yeah, yeah, these, these actually sound pretty good too. So the convenience wrapped up with the fun sound quality makes these an absolute treat at $150. So I, I can highly recommend them. And, you know, I would definitely give them a try if you're in the market for some headphones. This has been Alan with HQ.com. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Voxua HD wireless headphones. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment field below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also leave me a thumbs up on this. If you found this review helpful at all, you do that. Also go check out the description. I'll have links to the uh, product there. Please do check that out and use my link if you do happen to buy these or if you're going to look at them as that helps me bring you more of these reviews over time. And please go check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash headphone review HQ. You can find me on Twitter at headphone HQ and also go check me out on my site at www.headphonereviewhq.com. I plan on doing some uh, reorganizations and maybe bringing a blog there pretty soon. So uh, lots of stuff coming. Also, next up, right after this, are going to be the Hi-Fi Man RE400 in-ear headphones. Uh, and then right after that are going to be the V-Moda M100s. So stay tuned. I've got a ton of things coming to you and look forward to bringing you more in the future. Thanks. Bye.